What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross, I like games, and today we've got to talk about RB01 over in the Digimon TCG. This is the next set which is coming out on the 27th of January over in Japan. No word yet about an English release, but don't worry, I, I feel extremely confident this is going to be showing up. Firstly, we got a Super Rare and a couple of other cards about which I am extremely excited. They are right up my alley. And also, we've got a lot of reprints that have been confirmed. So we're going to talk about some of the most notable ones coming out. But basically what we've got with this set is a bunch of ridiculously good reprinted cards, along with some new cards that look really very good indeed. And this is shaping up to be, and I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say this, a set which has a real chance to be the actual best Digimon TCG set we've had. I know it's, it's quite a claim, but you know what? Yeah, it just looks really, really good. So starting off, then we've got a couple of new cards. Shout out to Rust Marrow over on Twitter for providing the translation. So we've got Numamon here. Three cost to play normally, two cost to digivolve, of 1,000 power level four. Dual color yellow and black, fairly important. And we've got a skill on deletion. Reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add a card with Monzimon in its name, add a card with Numamon in its name from among them to your hand, and put the rest to the bottom of your deck in any order. So it's one of those things we've seen quite a lot. Look at the top X number of cards, find something, go nuts. Now it is a deletion skill, so you do have to kind of be deleted to, to use it, but it's still a useful skill. It's a kind of thing we've seen used honestly quite a bit. We've then got an inheritable skill here on your opponent's turn. While this Digimon has Monzemon or Numemon in its name, it gains Blocker. And this to me is way more interesting. And yes, I know that Black have like a billion Blockers. And Yellow have some. But Yellow don't have that many Blockers. Like they've got some Blockers running around, don't get me wrong. But Yellow don't have Blockers like a lot of other types have Blockers. And this is good. Inheritable skill that gives blockers, deletion skill that gives you a chance to search out some cards, that's pretty cool. Annoyingly, because the blocker is an inheritable skill, it does mean that if you're deleted from blocking, then it's actually a level 5 you've evolved into, so you don't get a deletion skill. Bit sad, still cool. And then we've got Monzemon. Yay! I love him. Seven cost to play normally, four cost to digivolve, 7,000 power. The four cost to digivolve is a little bit steep, should be 737. And also, it is a dual color yellow. So that is a little bit unusual, just because the, the evolution line is dual color, but Monzemon's like, nah, man, I am all yellow. But you can digivolve from any level four that's got Numamon in its name. For a free cost. And we've seen this a lot in the past few sets. Basically, you can Digivolve from Numamon more cheaply. But it's not really cheaply. The general cost from a 4 to a 5 is a free cost. So they make you pay a 4 cost unless you evolve from Numamon, in which case it's only a free. That's a little bit sad, ladies and gentlemen. That is a little bit sad. But we've also got a skill here whereby on play... By placing a Digimon with Numemon in its name from your trash at the bottom of this Digimon's evolution cards, gain two memory. Now this is actually brilliant. Because first of all, it turns into a five cost, which is really nice. Five cost, 7,000 power level five, not bad. But assuming you're using this Numemon, and I think most of the time you're going to want to use this Numemon, then it's a five cost, 7,000 power Digimon with blocker. And also it's from your trash. Oh no. And that's kind of amazing because it means that you don't have to have it in your hand or any of that rubbish. As long as it's been discarded at some point, you will be okay. I like this. This is really, really good. And when you play or Digivolve, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 3,000 power and security attack minus one until the end of your opponent's next turn. Yeah, that's quite a lot on one card. So basically, you play it as a 5 cost, but you give it blocker with, with your Monzemon having a Numemon underneath. And then you give minus 3,000 power and security attack minus 1 to an opposing Digimon. Just completely new to them. That's a good thing. And then there's an inheritable skill on your turn. While this Digimon has Monzemon or Numemon in its name, it gains security attack plus 1. 
And we all see like a billion times how good Security Attack Plus One is. We've seen the impact that Security Attack Plus One can have. And this is brilliant. And I love it. So now you've basically got Blocker and Security Attack Plus One that you're giving to the Digimon, the level six you did evolve into. Great combination of skills. Well, not really a great combination, but two great skills anyway. Plus, you can new to one of your opponent's Digimon and you're only a five cost. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, all of the yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of digging this, honestly. I think this is pretty gosh darn cool. But there is a big super rare level six that we need to have a little bit of a chat about as well. And that is... Shin Monzemon. <laughs> first time we've seen Shin Monzemon. First time I've heard of this Digimon. And I'm going to be honest with you. It's awesome. And I love it. I just want to make a Shin Monzemon deck now. No, no mucking about. I want to play Shin Monzemon. 13 cost to play normally. 5 cost to Digivolve. 13,000 power. Okay, fine. That's kind of a lot. Now, you can evolve from a level 5 with Monzemon or Numon in its name. As a four cost. Interestingly enough, it doesn't have to be a yellow. So although it can normally only evolve from yellow, it can evolve from any Monzimon or any Numamon, and it's only a four cost, and you got 13,000 power. That's cool. When Digivolving, you place all level three Digimon in play face down on top of their own security in any order, and give all level four or higher Digimon minus 3,000 power. Add security attack minus one until your opponent's turn ends. So everybody loses their level threes, but only your opponent's Digimon get nerfed. And this is kind of cool. Now, this could go either way. There, there are different ways this can go. On the one hand, you could put all your opponent's level threes on top of their security. And then all of a sudden, they've got so much security you can't run through and you lose the game. That's a bad thing. But by the same token, you could put like six level threes on top of their security and give them six decks of security... But then nerf their board to the point where, sure, they've got six decks of security, but they can't do anything. And then they just lose. And that would be cool. Or you could get rid of your own level threes, put them on top of your stack, you know, play a couple of really cheap level threes, just so you can immediately digivolve into Shin Monzemon, and then all of a sudden you've got a couple extra security that your opponent can't get through. There are many different ways this could go. Now, certainly giving all opposing level 4 or higher Digimon minus 3,000 power and security attack minus 1, bearing in mind you've taken the level 3s off the board, so that's all their remaining Digimon, clearly that's a good thing. Clearly that is going to hurt them, that is going to make it less likely that they can get an attack through, that's going to make, and security attack minus 1 means that Digimon have to have security attack plus 1 before they can even do any damage whatsoever, and this is good. I like this very much indeed. Just bear in mind, this is not one of those skills that is just absolutely flat out guaranteed to win or anything like that. But if played at the right time and if done correctly, and it will not always be in your control because you can't really control how many level threes your opponent's playing or how many they get in play. But there will be times this is absolutely phenomenal. And then we got when attacking by trashing one of this Digimon's evolution cards with Numon in its name, place an opposing Digimon face down beneath their security. So you've got to have Numamon there. Bit of a pain, but hey-ho, can't win them all. And you've got to put it on the bottom of their security. Which does mean that, that they get an extra security, which gets you further away from winning the game. However, the fact that you can take one of their Digimon off the field, that could be quite good, ladies and gentlemen. This is certainly an evolution line I'm going to be having a good old play around with. And I know that there are downsides and it, it's not perfect. But what is? I love Shin Monzimon. This is awesome. But I don't think RBO1 is going to be the best set ever based on this. Rising Wind. I don't think it's going to be the best set ever based on this. But they've gone and confirmed a whole bunch of reprints. So the second print of Pulsemon... We all know Pulsemon's a really good card, and it was a promo card. Yep, that's been confirmed. And at the same time, they went and confirmed the promo Palmon that sees a whole bunch of playing green decks. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that one's coming along too. But they're taking cards from everywhere. Uh, the Nidogmon from BT4, that's super rare, the really good one. One of my favorite cards they've ever done. Yeah, that one's coming back. Uh, how about the Loose Mon, the Secret Rare from BT4? Which is a very good card that's seen a whole bunch of play. Yes, that's coming back. Uh, the Agunimon 
and the Lobomon from BT4 as well. Those lovely hybrid Digimon. They have been confirmed as being reprinted in this set. Which is a pretty big deal because they're honestly, you know, really good cards. Uh, Old Force Vidramon from BT2. That's a good card that's seen a bunch of play. That's going to have been confirmed as coming back in this particular set. So that's quite nice. The Uppermon from BT1. That's a Digitama that's seen a whole bunch of play and been really, really good. That's going to have been confirmed. The Craniumon from BT3. That's quite nice. That one's coming back. The Terriamon from BT3. That's a good card. That one's been confirmed to be coming back. And then we've got some of those purple promos from way back in the early days. <laughs> early days. Well, purple and black, to be fair. So we've got the Demi Vimon. That one's coming back. And we've got the Keramon from that same promo pack. And we've got the Diaboramon from that same promo pack. And bearing in mind, these are promos that came out a while ago. And sure, you can still pick up boxes of BT4 quite easily, I'll be honest with you. But some of these promos, you can't just run around and pick up super easily. So not only are they giving us these exciting new cards, which is awesome, but they're also coming out and giving us these reprints some of which are fairly standard and just good cars and previous sets but some of which are awkward to get promos that we're just struggling to find in other places and this is why i think this is going to end up being one of the best sets ever i think an awful lot of people are going to get very very excited about this set and quite frankly ladies and gentlemen they should they really should now, I've got this little thing on the screen here. This just confirms about the set. 20 common, 25 uncommon, 33 rare, 21 super rare, 6 secret rare, and 17 promo cards. They are going for it in terms of trying to make this an exciting set full of cards you want. And I think they're honestly doing a pretty gosh darn good job. Now, the packs are 550 yen, which is... Honestly, what they've charged for some starter decks in the past. But I think it's fair to say that this is actually going to be worth it. This is just looking like an absolutely stunning set. And one that I think a lot of people are going to end up being very, very happy about indeed. That's what I think. I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Digimon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord and chat with us, all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourself till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.